Welcome back to another Keyshot rendering tutorial. As you may know, these days the Star Wars are really popular because of the new uh, movie coming out. I think it's already in the movies. And I was really annoyed with all those Facebook image covers with the lightsaber. So uh, today I had a click actually two hours ago. Let's make a tutorial. It's pretty late here, but as I was really inspired, I started immediately. As you may see, I have a 3D model here that I'm going to use. It's nothing really special. It's one simple. It's one simple model. I didn't want to have something complex for my Keyshot scene, but you can find on internet really a lot of these 3D models that are really complete. I downloaded this one from GrabCAD. It's done by Milos Pavelkic. So thanks to Milos for this great model. And yeah, you can find there a lot of others, other models that are also free on GrabCAD. And for this one I'm gonna leave the link in the description. The only thing I changed here in this part is the, the diameter of this laser. So it's V80, I think it was 87. So let's just quickly paint these uh, models to divide them to a separate layer. Ok, let the games begin. I'm gonna import this to a key shot. Okay, it's done and I think I'm gonna turn off the solid works. I'm not gonna need it right now. And for the reference image we have something like this. So it's not really gonna be the same, but I'm gonna try to make it as close as possible. Let's uh, switch camera perspective to 60. Okay. And first of all, let's uh, remove ground shadows. We, are, we ain't gonna need the floor in this scene. And in the scene tab, click on this model lightsaber and let's rotate it 90 degrees so that the button is on the top as we can see here. Okay. Next thing is gonna be uh, adding the plane. Now click on plane, go to position and make the scale let's see, 100. No, we need it bigger, more bigger. Okay, this is gonna be enough and scale on, let's try X2. Okay. Sorry, and now let's just rotate it on X by 90. Is that it? Yes. Okay. And move it just a touch in this direction. So away from the saber to the left. Okay, camera view front. And now let's first apply materials. I'm just gonna hide plane not to have problems with it. The environment, let's change that too right away. So we are gonna use for a start all black environment. Okay, that's not a really good idea. Edit undo. Let's first add materials. We go to lights and let's find emissive emissive warm and add it to the laser. We need a metal, I'm gonna use aluminum, it's called rough for the handle and also select part, so let's also link it to the button. Yep, 
yeah it's looking fine like that let's make the roughness 0 0.075 samples 64 and let's just make it a bit more dark something like this yeah I believe we are close now just this detail here we can make it plastic hard rough black roughness 1 0 0.1 samples 16 okay and of course for the lights let's switch intensity to 10 samples to 8 just for a moment and of course the color to red red without the, any blue so this is these are the numbers the pantone of the red okay and let's bring back the plane you see why we need a plane now for we of course need two light sabers let's uh, duplicate this one and rotate the first one let's hide second one rotate the first one let's see what axis it's not this one on on set axis by let's see how much okay that's somewhere about about around minus 23 yeah okay and snap to ground and let's unhide lightsaber second one now we also need the same thing here let's first uh, rotate it 180 on the set axis 0 on the X or minus 90 okay that's better and now on set 155 I think no minus 155 it's uh it's 7 sorry 157 snap to ground so by snapping to snapping bolts of the models to the ground we have them in the same height so now we just have to move one of these by global uh, coordinates to the left in this image we have the handle and laser almost aligned so I'm gonna make something similar I, th I think I like it better like this when it's not really that much crossed or oh, let's do it same okay let's bring back the front view turn on the grid so that we know where is the middle okay the perspective is I think it's fine 60 or 65 and of course one of these lightsabers have to has to be has to be blue let's just click for now and first add material no, no let's change environment sorry so bring back the all black environment and now our scene is dark as you can see and now we can play with the with colors and you are gonna see now why we need this plane that is not that now is not really visible so go to paint metallic 
and use this first black and apply it here to the plane and now let's just play with the settings I'm gonna use 128 samples no 64 let's forget about the samples for a moment we are focused on focused on these other settings first okay so you see by switching metal coverage to a, a larger number you are making this second metal color more visible and that second color is actually refracting more of the light so that's how you get this nice fade out also by making this um, color less dark you are also making the as you can see more uh, light refraction also as you can see our lightsabers are I think yeah they are hitting each other but not perfectly so let's move the second one slightly back you can't have this uh, uh, scene perfect right away in, in the rendering so make sure that you are gonna have to use the Photoshop slightly if you want better result of course okay that's that's how we get the this fading effect also you can play with ray bounces to have a better uh, effect and now let's see what uh, yeah what I forgot to say also you can use met this metal roughness to make this fading, fading bigger by adding bigger number of course this would be too much let's use 0 0.125 also you can use your numbers let's see are we close with the colors blue and red so our blue color is actually our blue saber is actually pretty good I'm gonna turn samples to 32 64 it's not visible at the moment intensity 15 that's even better 20 okay we can make this smaller now 1 point 0 0.11 and here we can have 15 okay and for the red let's also try 15 and 64 samples this red is pretty tricky because we we can't see really the lightsaber that that well as we can see the bluish yeah whatever we do it's not perfect let's try with some other type of light aerial light diffuse 100 watts that's too much 25 okay but then we have to use it same for this one area light diffuse and how much 20 or 25 25 where is the blue one here it is 25 32 samples so none of these two materials aerial light or emissive is making this uh, saber look perfect I mean the red saber let's see what we can do about it
you can always play a lot more with the scene how to make this one perfect I'm really not sure after all I think I'm gonna use emissive yeah emissive is actually looking pretty good let's just find his uh, number 5 3 3 is the point where it's where it already goes wild let's try 4 4 5 okay after 5 you can't see it well let's use 4 then and let's move to this material bring it back to emissive and make intensity 4 32 samples yeah this can work well too and by changing these settings let's try make here more adjustments by making let's try this roughness this second roughness be bigger no that's not great this color more to white no that's again making red go wild okay let's try like this I think this is almost perfect let's just wait for turn on global illumination and wait for key shot to render it I'm gonna turn on 128 samples for blue and same for red and for this one let's use the same be aware that number of the samples is gonna make this scene look uh, better as you go up but make the rendering go really slow so now you are wondering how we're gonna see the the handles because we we can't really see them well first after we completed uh, doing this scene we are actually gonna save this star wars okay star wars okay after you make yourself sure that everything is perfect let's bring this more to the middle middle of the grid is showing the center okay and we can on camera make this uh, distance more or less so 7600 okay now after you done with all of that you go here and add camera we're gonna uh, save it as it's called light saber and of course to the lock to lock it so you can't lose this view any longer I'm just I'm just gonna make sure this everything okay looking here Okay, 4.5 may ve uh, may also work well. Let's just see something else. Let's go to free camera, rotate, and see if we 
bring the plane closer are we gonna have the better results so just like that and go to camera let's get back to lightsaber view and that's awesome the red is now again too much let's bring it back to 4 okay uh -huh. the samples are going to 99 let's bring this back to 0 0.11 I'm just gonna make the blue slightly darker and for the first shot that's it so you can now go to render settings choose your resolution and put it's not really important how much samples you're going to put because you already have set samples for each material you can put shadow just a slightly bigger and global illumination to 5 sharp shadows not necessary and you don't have to do anything else you can just okay go to uh, yeah you can render this one as a jpeg and now just click render but before that, you can now render, of course, I'm gonna show you how to get the handles visible. So for the handles we need another rendering. And here is how it's gonna be done. You go to environment, select environment you like. Any, any type of environment. And you can click on laser hide it click on this one hide it too and hide the plane and switch here to color make sure it's white and I think the color of metal is really fine the only thing you don't touch is the camera and again you go to render settings and this time you go to PNG as a as the output uh, file type of the file of the image and make sure to include transparency so you're gonna have this second image as a layer that you can put over the first image you rendered in Photoshop and that's how you finish the this scene and of course I will show you my results in just a moment